Hi YouTube, this is my first video in a while, and I think, okay, well, I'm natural, obviously, and I'm going to post, like, natural videos and stuff too, but I decided that I'm going to start a blog because some things that have gone on in my life, I feel like, even though they've hurt me, they've also given me strength, and... I mean, yeah, I've had my friends, or one particular friend, to talk to about stuff, but, like, I've never really had anybody to go through stuff that I know of that has happened. Anyway, so, I'm just going to start sharing stuff. So, okay, I know when you're young, like me, I'm 16, um, whenever I was 14, I thought I fell in love with somebody. No, I did not as my first real boyfriend of course I mean you're gonna feel like that and whenever we broke up that was really hard for me like it took me maybe about a whole year to get over that I know it sounds dramatic or whatever but it was I was in 7th grade he was in 8th grade and um yeah and I just I've grown now and I don't know like ever since I went natural to unless it's my natural hair um I've also just like gained this I guess mentality of like I don't really need anybody else I'm perfectly fine myself yeah I mean you get lonely sometimes but I have friends like girlfriends I have guy friends too but I mean I just want people to realize that you don't have to depend on somebody else to make you happy you choose to be happy or you choose not to be happy. If you want to be upset about something that's happened, then you continue to be upset about that. If you want to hold a grudge, then you hold the grudge. But once you let stuff go, that's when you realize that things really aren't that bad and things will really start to get better. Anyway, so... Okay, this is going to sound so cliche, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some comments or whatever, but... If you're here, I actually did fall in love. Um with a guy that was younger than me and I mean we're not together right now but we still love each other we still tell each other that um he actually got me this bracelet and this necklace a long time ago actually got me this this Christmas even though we're not together but we still care for each other anyway but um yeah like this year I've kind of like let go of the whole fantasy thing like oh I need to find a high school sweetheart and go on and have a college sweetheart and live happily ever after blah 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 because it's not really going to happen chances of that are to none. there's one couple at my school that I know of that have been together since their 7th grade year and they're seniors now but they've been off and on too so but still like one out of all the students at my school and I go to a pretty big school but anyway this year, like, I just let go of stuff, and I got closer to my friends. I actually got new friends um, that I'm really close with. We're, I guess you could say a clique, but we're, we don't, like, exclude anybody or anything. We're just all, like, really close. And it's like, I've never been happier with a group of friends. Like, thing is, you're happy before you get into into some type of relationship and whenever you're in a relationship your happiness level goes up and then like this is the average this is the relationship then after the relationship your average happiness is going to feel like it's down here it's always going to feel like you have to get back up there like you feel like you were kind of missing out on something so okay first advice even though i'm only 16 um don't rush into a relationship while you're young like to take your time and have fun because you don't know what you're missing out on. You're perfectly fine anyway with your friends and having little crushes on people. Do that until you actually get into a relationship. And then when you get into a relationship, if something doesn't work out, if it doesn't work out, don't hold a grudge. Don't be mad at the person. Don't be upset. I mean, yeah, you're going to be upset, obviously. I was upset for a while. But, I mean, just you choose to make yourself happy or sad. So, I mean, if you linger in that sorrow then of course you're gonna keep feeling like that but if you just kind of go on with your life like I got I got a lot closer to my friends and I got a lot closer to God and that's when I realized like 
I'm perfectly fine by myself. Like, yeah, it's great to have somebody to talk to or do stuff with or whatever, but you'll be perfectly fine on your own. Anyway, I just want to blog about that, and I'm probably going to be doing more vlogs. So, yeah, thanks for watching.